research. Clapp, who examined what the English researcher Thomas wrote, was convinced of the existence of the lost city described in the book. Without losing much time, he started his research. Clapp tried two ways to prove the existence of U.R. First, he found the tracks which the Badoon said existed. He applied to NASA to provide the satellite images of the area. After a long struggle, he succeeded in persuading the authorities to take the pictures of the region. For Second, Clapp went on to study the ancient manuscripts and maps in the Huntington Library in California. His aim was to find a map of the region. After a short research, he found one. What he found was a map drawn by the Greek Egyptian geographer Ptolemy in 200 AD. In the map was shown the location of an old city found in the region and the ways that led to this city. Meanwhile, he received the news that the pictures had been taken by NASA. In the pictures, some caravan trails became visible which were difficult to identify with a naked eye, but could only be seen as a whole from the sky. Comparing these pictures with the old map he had in hand, Clapp finally reached the conclusion he was looking for. The trails in the old map correspond with the trails in the pictures taken from the satellite. The final destination of these trails was understood to have been once a city. Finally, the location of the legendary city which had been subject to the stories told orally by the Badoons was discovered. After a short while, excavations began and remains of an old city started to be uncovered under the sands. Thus, this lost city was described as the Atlantis of the Sands, U.R. Well, what was it that proved this city to be the city of the people of Ad mentioned in the Quran? Right from the moment remains started to be unearthed, it was understood that this ruined city belonged to Adam Aram's pillars mentioned in the Quran, because among the structures unearthed were the towers particularly referred to in the Quran. A member of the research team leading the excavation, Dr. Zarens, said that since the towers were alleged to be the distinctive feature of U.R. and since Aram was mentioned as having towers or pillars, this then was the strongest proof so far that the site they had unearthed was Aram, the city of Ad, described in the Quran. The Quran mentions Aram as follows, Seest thou not how thy Lord dealt with the Ad people of the city of Aram with lofty pillars, the like of which were not produced in all the land? Surat al Fire 6 8 The Miracle of Predicting the Unknown. Long ago, historians misgave about the reality of Ad's people as the former did not find any trace of them. By the beginning of the 20th century, the National Aeronautics Space Administration, NASA, made a voyage around the Earth by a space shuttle equipped with a radar which was capable of deeply penetrating the soil ability. When the shuttle came across the void quarter, it then discovered that there was a stream of two dry rivers, one of them running from west to east and the other running from south to north. That is why the Americans got dazzled because this site is the driest part of the Earth, yet it had running rivers till the near past. A picture of two dry rivers near odds habitations taken by satellite.